While you're clicking away on your iPhone trying to buy Bitcoin like a caveman, massive hedge funds and asset managers are using advanced trading tools to trade faster than you, place trades when exchange websites are quote unquote down, and implement advanced trading strategies that aren't accessible from your phone. Luckily for you, I built tools that are so easy to use that even your little caveman brain will be able to figure it out. And if you still can't, I'll answer any questions you have down in the comments and over on Twitter. And with the help of the community and everyone watching this video, we'll be able to build even more fun functionality into the open source hedge fund that I'm going to share with you today with the hope that eventually we'll be able to close the gap between individual investors like you and me and these massive firms on Wall Street. So let's go ahead and jump over to our computers and figure out how all this stuff works. All of the code and all of the steps that we cover in this video will be in written form down below in the description over at the blog. And while you're over there, consider subscribing to the blog to get access to all of these coding updates earlier than these YouTube videos come out. And if you've never messed around with Python before, check out the links down in the description for videos showing you how to install Python. Python, and then more videos on how to ask the right kinds of questions to something like ChatGPT or Google Bard, so that if you get stuck at any particular point of this video, you can go ask those questions and get the help that you specifically need. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. The first thing we're going to do is create a new folder to house all of the code that we're going to pull down from GitHub, and then we'll enter that folder. Next, we're going to write pip install Coinbase Advanced Trade Python, and that's going to go ahead and download all of the code that we're going to need to start interacting with the Coinbase API. Next, we're going to open up our program IDs of choice. I'm going to be using Cursor for this demo. If you've never heard of Cursor, if you want to see why I'm using it, I made a video on it a couple weeks ago that I'll leave linked up in the cards. When I open Cursor, I'm going to go ahead and open that folder that we just downloaded all of that code into. And then I'm going to right click over here on the left and create a new file. And we can call this file Coinbase tester.py. Next, we can head over to the GitHub page and copy some of this code that we can use as an example just to get started and we'll paste this over here in cursor. And we can see the first thing we need to do here is connect to Coinbase with real API keys and real API secrets so that this code can interact with our Coinbase accounts. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to our browser and open up Coinbase. We'll click on our little pictures up here in the top right, and then we'll click on settings. Next, we'll come over to API and we'll click on new API key. And then for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna give it access to the Bitcoin wallet, the Ethereum wallet, and the USD and USDC wallets. And then I'm gonna give it access to these permissions you can go ahead and pause the video and give it access to similar permissions or you can just come down here and select all and then we can go ahead and create our API keys. Next, I'm going to copy this API key, put it back over here in key and then come over here to secret, copy that and put it back in API secret. Now that we've done that, we can come back over here to the GitHub and copy over this very basic function that's gonna show us how to buy $20 of Bitcoin, just so that we can establish that we've made the connection to Coinbase. And we'll go ahead and paste that code back in our cursor.sh file. Now, all we need to do is make sure that our Coinbase account is appropriately funded, and then we'll go ahead and try to test this $20 of Bitcoin strategy. Come over here to Portfolio, we can see that we have more than $20 in the account, and so when we go to place this $20 buy order of Bitcoin, we should see something come up here over on the order screen. As you can see here, the last time I placed an order was 10.1, and so if we go back to Cursor SH, and then we go ahead and press the play button, we should see that I have successfully placed a limit order, and if we go back here to Coinbase, we can see that we are now successfully talking to Coinbase. Okay, so we've proven that we can talk back and forth to Coinbase, but that's not that impressive, right? That's hedge funds are doing much more complicated things than that. And so how are we going to be able to leverage this API to do really whatever we want? As a very simple example of where this can go, we can go ahead and implement the Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index, which is a super popular indicator in the Bitcoin trading space. And we'll see if we head back to the GitHub that I've actually already implemented this code. So if you go ahead and take this code just straight from the GitHub and paste it back over in your code and then delete what we had there before, you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. And if you go ahead and command click on this function, you can see exactly what it's doing. So here the fear and greed index simple is executing a trade based on the fear and greed index using a simple trading strategy. We're going to pass into it the product that we want to trade. So in this case, Bitcoin, we're going to pass in the fiat amount that we want to trade based on the schedule, which in this case is gonna be $10. And then we're going to be passing in a schedule, which in the default case is the simple schedule. And the simple schedule is saying, if the fear and greed index is below 20, multiply the amount of the trading strategy by 1.2. So in our case, it wouldn't be $10, it would be $12. And then if the fear and greed index is over 80, actually sell 0.8 times the amount that you specify in the strategy. So in this case, if the fear and greed index was over 80, 
we would be selling $8 of Bitcoin. And then if all of that sounded like gobbledygook to you and you're like, Rhett, this is super confusing. You said it was gonna be easy. The beauty of Cursor is that you can talk to your entire code base. So if we go ahead up here to the top and we click on toggle AI pane, and then we just command click on the function that we want to understand, we can highlight the whole function and click on this add to chat button right here or shift command L on Mac. And then we can say, what does this function do? How much Bitcoin will it buy? if I pass in $10 to the fiat amount variable. And so here it gives us the full example of exactly what the function is doing. And it's saying if the fear and greed index is below the higher and lower thresholds, it's going to buy $10 of Bitcoin. And then based on that higher or lower threshold, it's going to buy or sell more or less Bitcoin. As an example, right now, the fear and greed index is 65. And so if we run this, we should be buying $10 of Bitcoin. So if I go ahead up here and just click on play, we can come back over to Coinbase and we should see that I've created a new buy order for $10 of Bitcoin. And you can see that right over here on total. So again, right now our fear and greed index is 65. Just to show you that this works, if we go ahead and change the threshold to 70 and we do a 1.2, it should be buying $12 instead of $10. So we'll go ahead and save this file and then come back to our tester and hit play. And we'll head back over to Coinbase and we'll see that this time we've gotten a $12 buy order. And so you can dig into this code and manipulate those schedules and have it do really whatever you want it to do. And if you're getting stuck and you don't really know how to manipulate the schedules, you see all of this code here and you're like, I don't really know how to do that. How did you make it 70 instead of 20? I'm afraid I'm gonna mess something up. Instead, what you can do is you can highlight all of this and again, add it back to the chat. And maybe instead of 1.2 times as much, you want to buy 1.5 times as much when the fear and greed threshold is below 30. And maybe you want to sell one times as much when it's above 80. So you can ask that exact question to cursor.sh. And now I can just say, make that change for me and hit enter. And then it's just going to spit out that exact code for you. And you can copy it over here and paste it over here. Or if you want to edit the code directly, instead of asking questions over to the AI, you can hit command K for edit. And you can say, change the thresholds back to 20 and 80 and the factors back to 1.2 and 0.8. And then once you hit enter, it will literally go through line by line and make those changes. And all you have to do is click on yes. So now maybe you're saying, hey, Rhett, that's really great. The fear and greed index is super cool, but I want even more trading functionality to bridge the gap between me and hedge funds. And at this point, it's really the sky is the limit. This API has all of the available information for you to talk back and forth with Coinbase. And all you need to do is come up with your perfect strategy and then implement it using Cursor SHS AI and the fundamental building blocks that are already here within the code base. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you want to learn more, check out the blog link down in the description. And also let me know what building blocks and fundamental trading strategies you want included into this API in the future. DM me on Twitter if you get stuck and at me on Twitter if you have any trading strategies that you find over on Twitter that you want to see implemented in a video here live. Check out this video over here to see how you can automate all of the trading strategies that we talked about in this video here today. And then check out this video over here to learn more about my thoughts on Bitcoin. I love you all. I'll see you next week. <laughs>